More local news now a huge turnout tonight in Covington for a boy killed while riding his bike. Eli Kent was just six years old. Angela Ingram joins us now with how strong an outpouring of support was felt tonight by the family. Angela. Well, Rob, earlier this evening, there was a huge show of support and Eli rode his bicycle through this area on Friday in Latonia when he was killed. You may be able to see behind me the memorial is growing every single day and tonight the street was crowded full of people who wanted to honor and remember Eli. Casey Jones is overwhelmed with grief, sadness about losing her son with the big smile. And through her pain, she was still able to say thank you to all of the people who've been showing support for her and her family. The whole community, I mean, it was hard to touch the impact he had. Never thought it would be this many people. We thought it was going to be our friends and family. Eli Kent's memorial grows each day at 32nd in DeCourcy, where he was killed. Sunday, his Pee Wee football team honored Eli before their game with a moment of silence and decals on their helmets. Natisha Khan's son is Eli's cousin, and he's also on the team. I've been telling my son Eli's in heaven, but even though he's in heaven and he you can't visually see him, he is still with you everywhere you go. This morning, Christopher Wells had a video appearance in court. Police say Wells was the driver of the pickup truck that hit and killed Eli on Friday. And I hope the guy whenever whatever happens to him, whenever he gets out and he sees how much pain and suffering he's caused and how everybody is, I hope he has to live with that. Feels terrible inside. This loss isn't just felt by Eli's family. Eli! It's also felt by the others he touched during his short life. Are you gonna miss him? Yes. Why? Because he was very precious to me. I couldn't imagine, you know, this, you know, being a mother myself. So, I mean, it's just unbelievable. And Christopher Wells pleaded not guilty in court today to a charge of leaving the scene of a fatal accident that is a felony in Kentucky. Reporting live tonight from Latonia, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much.